subscribe if you're new here, it's so nice to meet you. So today's video is an exciting video, this is going to be one of three videos in my series that I'm going to be doing using the none other than the new sandwich palette, the new Dish in the Dirt collection, I'm so so excited. So this is the first look that I've created with this palette, so if you want to see how I got this look using the sandwich palette, using the paint tangy tees and the brow duo, then please stick around and see how I got this look. So just making sure my base is all pressed out before we go into the gorgeous shadows. I'm just going to pat this out. So I'm going to be taking that shade smoking on a so to do, this is the SK02 collab with Kaylee and I do notice with these shadows you do get a lot of kickback on the brush and it literally goes all over you so that is a little bit annoying but the colour payoff is amazing so yeah it's a little bit annoying that you do get kickback but I'm just going to be start by applying this into the crease, the shade called smoking. I'm literally just packing this into the crease. Like so, just building up that colour to the intensity that I like. So I've just zoomed you in a little bit closer because I feel like you're really far away. So the next palette I'm going to go in with is this sort of lettuce tomato palette, which is one of the middle palettes. I'm going to be taking the shade Rich, which is this gorgeous yellow in the middle. I'm going to be taking it on the P. Louise who lost in my blend brush, which is a really, really nice, small, fluffy brush. Again, there is a lot of kickback in this palette. I think it's just with all of them. But I'm going to literally going to be taking this and just doing small circular motions just to blend these two shades together with that first shade that we laid down called Smoking. So I'm literally just going around the outside of that Smoking shade with the shade called Rich. I think it's called Rich anyway. So just small circular motions just trying to blend these two shades together. So I'm actually going to go with the cheese palette, which is another one of the middle palettes. It just makes me really, really laugh when I say cheese palette. But I'm going to be taking the shade Buttered Up, which is this one here. I'm going to be taking it on another P. Louise um, devoted to my blend brush, but this is a different one. I'm going to be taking it in the middle of those two shades, which I've laid down already, just to make the blend a little bit more easier between these two shades. So I'm literally just trying to get that blend between these two shades. And then I'm going back in with that um, lettuce palette and then I'm going to be taking that shade Rich again just to be buffing out. So after doing the intensity that I like and I just went off camera just to re-intensify and go back through the stages that I already did with those shades, I'm now going to go in with the crisp finish. Of course I picked up the shade Tangy Tees because it's just such a gorgeous orange shade I'm going to be using the brush that it came with which is amazing by the way to cut the crease because I've used it when I was playing around with them so I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand with the shade Tangy Tees so taking that Tangy tea shade on this brush this brush is called What I Treat My Base Brushes <laughs> I'm just going to be starting by cutting the crease, I'm going to do like a half cut crease so I'm just going to be cutting my crease with this, I'm going to be doing a half cut crease as well So I'm just going to slowly cut out my crease with this This brush is so so good, it's so so sharp and it's just so so fine, it's just amazing And I'm just going to drag it back these bases as well, I'm pretty sure they're meant to dry in 60 seconds, like the Acid Rain collection with Mama Mitchell. But I do find you still have to like press it out a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with one of the last palettes again. I'm going to be taking this shade here, and this is called Source. It's just an amazing, the shimmer consistency is spot on with this collection. It's just so, so good. So I'm going to be taking that shade just on a flat brush. I'm going to be starting just to pat this on. Like, look. Look at that. Oh my god. This consistency is literally spot on. Wow, just look at that shade, it just looks 
unreal i'm shook that shade just looks so banging like oh my god so i'm just gonna be taking the shade smoking now which is that first deep orange and i'm just gonna be blowing out the edge here just so is isn't just got that like weird line when we've done the cut crease And then I'm going to be going back in with that yellow rich shade just so all the edges are lovely and buffed out. Even at the front as well. So now just to add a little bit of pop to the eye, I really really want to go in with this shade called Flavor. So I'm just going to wiggle my brush in this and then just apply it to the inner corner. So I've just applied that flavour to the inner corner just to give it a bit of a wham bam. So now I'm just going to go off camera, do my base, do my lashes and I'll be right back. So I've just done my base now, I'm not going to lie, it's a million degrees in here. So what I've done when I was off camera, I did my base but I haven't done my highlight and I haven't finished my lips. And also for the inner corner highlight, I did go originally with that shade flavour but I actually layered the shade Taste Me over the top. And I don't know if you can see but it's a little bit patchy um, but that just might be because of when I was layering it, it just didn't stick as much i don't know if it's just because of my p louise base or when you layer these shadows it just goes a little bit powdery and because of all the kickback but i think it's just because i didn't lay the base properly um in that area but we're going to highlight so i'm going to be using so for my highlight i'm going to be using the p louise love tapes palette i'm going to be mixing these two higher earth shades each side um it's massive this palette i'm going to be using these just to highlight the normal areas that i'd usually highlight so the two shades i'm taking is once all time and happily ever after i'm just taking it on Look how big this palette is, it's insane. Just taking on my favourite highlighting brush and just highlighting the normal areas I'd usually highlight. blend that in a little bit with my powder brush just because it is a bit extreme and then I've also left out my brows so my brows I'm going to be using the P. Louise brow pencil that comes with the sandwich collection so I'm just going to be using this just to do my brows and fill them in and literally this pencil is so lush like it's amazing then I'm going to go in with the P. Louise brow gel as well and this is in the shade espresso for both the pencil and the brow product. rocking the strong brow game today okay so topping up my lips i'm going to be using the doll beauty this is the sponsored gloss i'm absolutely obsessing over this gloss recently and just to finish off my lips it's got like a gorgeous peachy undertone to it it's so nice And then to top off this look, I'm going to be using the Revolution Hydrate and Fix Spray just to set my face. And make it last. So guys, this is my first official look using the P. Louise Sandwich Palette. I am so happy that I got this collection. It's just so beautiful and displayable and it's just so gorgeous. So this is the first look that I've done with the P. Louise palettes. I know it's not perfect just because the base or just the powdery sort of kickback that you get in these shades aren't as much as I like the palettes, the kickback is there, but this is the finished look. It's sort of like a cut crease yellow moment, like the yellow on the lid. The shimmer is absolutely insane with a pop of green in the middle, absolutely obsessed. So this is my first official look with the P. Louise Sandwich Palette. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for the second and third look in my series with this sandwich palette just because it's so amazing. I'm going to be showing you the two other looks I'm going to be doing for it. So please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and click the notifications bell just so you get notified whenever I post new videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please tag me if you can recreate it and I 
hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone! <laughs>